Hey there pranksters, just wanted to let you guys know that this video is being brought to you by Govi, always making life smarter. Stick around for the whole video so I can show you guys how cool these Govi TV backlights are. Now guys, this is a very special gaming setup video because in this particular video, I'm gonna be trying out my new PC and we'll see how good it really is for gaming. But before we get started with that, let me announce the giveaway for this video. If this video gets 25,000 likes before 2020 ends, I will give away a gaming PC like the one you see right here. So if you're a gamer and PC gaming is your thing, then you probably want to enter this giveaway. To participate, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me what you want to get for Christmas this year. And if you're a big fan of this channel, please consider becoming a member, especially if you want to interact with me and talk to me directly, just click on the join button next to the subscribe button. I also want to give a special shout out to two of my biggest supporters, Lauren and Rickomo Gamer. Thank you guys so much for being members of this channel and contributing by buying some next merch. You guys rock. Alright then, let's get to building this setup from scratch. And the two most time consuming items to put together are always the desk and the chair. And the starting point for this gaming station will be the desk. And here we have a large brown box from Gala X Hero. And I was really excited to try out one of the products from this brand. So let me show you guys how I put it all together. As always when I unbox large items, I make sure I take my time doing it. So I know that every single part that's supposed to be in this box is there. Being neat and organized is very important when building these. There was just so many components to this, but I managed to separate them all. With the right power tools, it wasn't hard assembling this, but of course I let the instructions manual guide me through the whole process. This desk by far has the most electrical components out of all the desks that I put together in the last 6 months. And it does make sense that this would have a lot of wires because of all its epic RGB LED capabilities, and you guys will see those in full effect as soon as I'm done putting it together. So basically it was a matter of assembling the frame and then just placing the tabletop onto it. And by the way guys it did come split but it's not so noticeable especially not once I placed a giant mouse pad over it. Look at that guys for 340 bucks you can get yourself an epic looking desk like this one. This is by far the largest desk that I have built. It's 61 inches long and 30 inches in height. With this desk I also got a cup holder, a headphone hook and a mini game storage rack which I probably won't use. Of course the RGB lights steal the show here and although it is a quite large desk, the setup itself was miniature in size. My choice of chair for this project came from a brand called Vipec and although I had never heard of it, I was intrigued by the name and so it got me a little excited to open up the large box the chair came in. This box clearly said do not open with a knife and I did just that. It's just the next raker way. As you can see the chair will be matching the desk as far as colors, both black and red are present on this chair. Based on the feel of it, it did seem like it was completely wrapped in pew leather which is one of my favorite type of materials for chairs. Again I followed my building methods when assembling this chair. I unboxed it, spread all the components out and just grabbed them as I needed them based on what the assembly manual told me. Normally a chair like this would take me longer to put together but all the experience that I have acquired from building these over the last few months and the help of my drill just made everything much faster and easier and within 10 minutes I was able to assemble this Vipec ergonomic chair from the ground up. Just like traditional gaming chairs, the pillows provided are for lumbar support and for headrest. Pretty much everything on this chair is adjustable such as the armrest and the backrest and of course, height adjustment is available for this as well. Prices vary for this chair but if you get your hands on one of these chairs, it'll be worth it. Now that we got the chair and desk builds out of the way, we can get to the PC I'll be using for this setup. And so I wanted to try something different. By looking at this box, you would not think that there was a PC in there, right? Well there is. Let me introduce you guys to the Minis Forum Desk Mini. And yes, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a miniature personal computer. Physically, the most eye-catching part of this is its size, but when I took it out of its box, it had quite a good feel to it. I didn't think that it would fall apart if I was to drop it, and I was not about to test that out. It was actually heavier than what I thought it would be. Underneath the box, there was a bunch of accessories for it. Besides the cables and the hookups, there was a miniature keyboard, which at first I thought it was just that until I realized that it was also an air mouse. Inside this box there was also a VESA mount which allows for the mini PC to be mounted onto the back of any monitor so I will not be hiding my mini PC back there. Alright let's unwrap the actual machine and see what it's all about. 
you get AMD Ryzen 5 and Radeon Vega 8 graphics as well. If we tour the sides of this mini PC, you guys can see that there's many ports for USBs such as USB Type-C and USB 3.1 Gen 1 and 2. Also there's an audio jack and of course a power button and guys this is just the front. On the back there's more options such as HDMI ports, display ports and more USB 3.1 ports. Vents are also located all around the mini PC and I just love the color of this little device. Gray and black is a great combination as you guys have seen in my previous setups. I just love how it all looks. By pressing on the two bottom corners, the top cover can easily pop off and inside we can see the mini's forum PC guts. This is very convenient when it comes to upgrading certain components such as memory or if you'd like to install more storage, that is also an option as well. The configurations for this particular PC that I have here are 16 gigabytes of memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. The total value that this mini PC comes out to be is $570 which is right around the price range of a lower end gaming PC. Of course you must know that this version of the mini's forum desk mini is not particularly meant to be a gaming PC but guess what, since we do gaming here we'll be taking it for a spin. Let's take out the mini keyboard slash air mouse. This is a tiny keyboard that reminds me a lot of the old slider phones. It is wireless and on the bottom we can slide out the cover so we can pull out the USB receiver which I will be plugging into the desk mini. Now guys before we proceed to testing out this tiny PC, this right here is the AOQ Ultra Slim 15.6 4K portable monitor and yes we are dealing with a mini PC so I decided to go with a small monitor as well for this demo. AOQ did a great job with the packaging, it's an all white box with an image of a monitor with a colorful screen. On the side of the box we can see all the contents listed that will be inside this box. One thing that caught my eye was that this is a non-touch screen monitor which is okay but now I'm eager to try out the AOQ touch screen version. Well maybe in a future video. For now I will be unboxing this one and just as I expected there is paperwork at the very top followed by the actual monitor which is nicely wrapped and protected by its black cover and that too is wrapped with plastic. Underneath that we do get some accessories such as a cleaning wipe and the cables and hookups that are needed to power up this monitor. This adjustable stand will come in handy for sure. I think it will give me more flexibility than the monitor's cover which also acts as a stand. This monitor is very thin but it does not mean that it's fragile. It does feel very tough. On one side we have all the important buttons such as the on and off button, menu button, plus and minus buttons for sound and at the very bottom we do have an audio jack. On the opposite side are the ports and in order from top to bottom you can see the mini HDMI port, two USB type C ports and a micro USB port. All of which are essential for using this monitor. The cover does attach magnetically and if folded the right way it can be used as a stand which is very convenient but the angles are very limited so for this demonstration I will be using the stand that was provided in the box. Just look at how awesome that sits on there. I powered the monitor through a USB-C to USB cable and connected the mini PC using a mini HDMI to HDMI cable so now we will be able to see how well this monitor operates. Going back to the mini's forum desk mini it's worth noting that it does come with Windows 10 fully installed on it but just like any new product I had to register it and customize it for my needs and right off the bat I wasn't too happy with the size of the font so I had to zoom in and out so many times to be able to read certain text. Although the mini keyboard slash air mouse was nice to have I just couldn't operate this PC with it for too long so I resorted to getting a $15 10 mouse RGB wireless white mouse from Amazon. Just like the air mouse it does come with a USB receiver and a charging cable. Once fully charged charge this 10 mouse was my permanent mouse. As far as the keyboard I grabbed my Wamir colored glaze white RGB keyboard. Both of these items were fully compatible and the PC recognized them almost instantly as I plugged them in. Now the moment of truth. After downloading Fortnite on it and testing it out I came up with two conclusions. Yes it's possible to game on this PC and although you will not get the best performance in the world you can still enjoy good quality gameplay. Lesser intensity games will probably be your best option for this and I don't recommend playing online with a high intensity game such as Fortnite because the lag can get annoying. Something like Among Us is a better option for this. By the way guys my first and only Fortnite game on this PC I did end up winning. The AOQ monitor did hold up its end as far as quality and although it does offer 4K, 1080p is still good and I do plan on watching 4K movies on this as well as Netflix and HBO movies. This portable monitor will definitely come in handy when I'm on the go so I know I made the right choice by getting this for 300 bucks on Amazon. For the rest of the setup I wanted to turn it into a 
a streaming one. So here are some of the items that I got for that. My Phil Canvas wireless headset which I did originally used in my Xbox Series X gaming station. These are perfect for noise cancelling and good quality audio. Not too long ago I got a package from Rode with some of their best products and in there was this NT USB mini microphone. This USB mic can do a lot and be used for gaming, streaming, podcasting and recording voiceovers among other functions. Although the box that this microphone came in was small, I now understand why it was kinda heavy for its size. This mic is very well built with a solid frame. For it being one of their lower end microphones, Rode sure did put in the work to making this plug and play microphone a success. I for sure plan on using this microphone in one of my many live streams or future podcasts that I might have as this microphone was created for just that. Great audio and for a hundred bucks, it really is a great price. The headphones I plugged into the microphone and the microphone I connected to my MacBook which you can see right here, it's ready to go. This Emit C 960 1080p webcam will be ideal for this streaming gaming station. Again just like the Rode mic, this is a plug and play type of device and I did mount that on top of my portable monitor just as you see right here. One thing that you guys should know is that the room where I'm setting all this up on does not have an internet or modem router. That would be located on my main room and usually the signal weakens with distance. Luckily I was able to get a hold of this awesome Rockspace Wi-Fi repeater. Once plugged in all I had to do was press the WPS button on both my modem and the Rockspace repeater. This will ensure a quick and easy pairing of my devices. By having this close by I will be able to keep a strong internet signal in this room without having to have the main modem in here. This is is perfect for a two story house or if the rooms are really spread out. I definitely need this if I plan on streaming on this little setup. For almost 50 bucks I'd say this is a great investment if you want to extend your wireless signal. Another device worth purchasing for live streaming is this Cloner Alliance Flint 4KP plus capture card. These are typically in the $170 price range. Now this is a lesser known device but I thought it was worth the shot. When I finally had the capture card in my hand, it felt pretty indestructible and I say that because the Elgato HT60S capture card felt very fragile compared to the Flint 4KP Plus device. Sure these two serve the same purpose and have a lot of similarities both physically and performance wise, but I love the fact that with the Cloner Alliance device I can game in 4K quality while recording or streaming in 1080p at 60 frames per second. So basically that is why it's called the Flint 4KP Plus. You don't have to sacrifice your your 4K gameplay to stream at 1080p which is still the most common way to live stream these days. Lag is almost non-existent and this works with popular software such as OBS. If you're a console gamer I highly recommend this capture card. I myself will personally use this to be able to live stream using one of my DSLR cameras as that is also an option you get with this capture card. I just love having the best quality cameras in my live streams and this will definitely enable that. To finish up this gaming setup I thought I'd hang up some gaming posters which I had left over from previous setups I've done. These are pretty basic but highly decorative. Check it out guys, that's pretty much how it all looks once everything is put together. Even the chair looked great there. Lighting coming from the desk was perfect and it's definitely something that I was content with but I felt like I wanted to switch it up a little bit more so I brought in my two monitors that I used for my Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 gaming setups. The reason why I did that was because if you recall, behind these monitors I placed my Govi TV LED backlights. These lights weren't like anything I had ever seen before because they came with an actual camera that mounts on top of the monitor to better produce lighting based on the color that the screen is displaying at the moment. For this example, let's refer to my 55 inch TV that I have in my loft. Here I was in the process of calibrating everything. As you can see right here the camera has already been mounted on and the lights have been firmly placed on the back and I gotta say that these are definitely better used for large TVs such as this 55 inch rather than two monitors. Since I had already synced up my phone to these lights using the Govi Home app, I could have better control of them and first I'm gonna show you guys why there is a camera mounted on this TV. Basically the camera detects the overall color of the display and the lights automatically replicate that same colors so what you get is this cool effect. The lights easily adapt to the display so no matter what's on the screen the lights will switch colors automatically. So you will leave everybody that's watching TV impressed with these backlights. Now if you're just into music then make a few changes to the settings on the Govi home app and the lights sync up to the rhythm of your favorite tunes. It's nice to have this for the holidays especially Christmas and my personal favorite was the fast chasing light effect. Just look how cool and awesome that looks, it's very colorful and again it can come in handy this Christmas when all the family members gather up to watch a movie and speaking of Christmas guys, check out the cool Govi deals going on right now, link for that is in the description below. 
Anyway guys, that concludes my first ever PC gaming setup. I know it wasn't what you guys were truly expecting, but hey guys, it can only get better. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting everything together for you guys. Remember that all the items featured in this video will be in the description below with affiliate links so you guys can purchase your own if you wish to do so. And just a reminder, if you would like to participate in my gaming PC giveaway, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below. If this video gets 25,000 likes before 2020 ends, I will give away a gaming PC to someone from the comments, so I really hope we reach that goal before the year ends. Have a great holiday season pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video.